Yes, people, what's going on? What's going on? I am out of here. We've got another vlog for you today here on the Flex. Listen, I'm gassed. I'm going to go see Max Whitlock, double Olympic gold champion gymnast. Yes, that's right. I'm going to find out. Oh, look at Joss, he's ringing me. He's ringing me now. Go, go away, Joss. Now's not the time. Now's not the time. I'm just patting up the coffee. Coffee's on its way. Get a little bit of energy there. Matt's going to be putting me through my paces. I'm not a very good gymnast. Forward roll, back roll, cartwheel, maybe at best. At best, maybe a couple of stuff on the trampoline. I'll see what he puts me through, but I'm ready. Pummel horse, I'm ready. Tumbling, I'm ready, yeah? Not only you can do it, Max, but I'm going to be learning a lot more about his journey, how his B-Tech helped him, his journey into gymnastics, and just gymnastics in general, because I'm, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, football, basketball, these kind of things, they're my sports, but I don't know a lot about gymnastics, and these are the type of things I love to know more about, things that I don't know about. So, before we leave the house, though, we've got the problem of what appropriate footwear do we go with? Yeezys, Jordans, be the Skeptors with the Air Maxes. We've got some TNs down there, but I'm going to go with these. Tuned Air Maxes, weapons of today's choice. Air Maxes, comfortable, retro. Come on, Max, I'm ready for you. I'm ready. Two hours later. Told Flex, shoes off. So I'm here, I'm topped up, uh, I'm ready, I'm stretched out. It's the flexible in the building. Um, I'm here at the gym, ready to meet Max. I think I've just seen him pull up. Don't get me in the shop. Don't oh, get me oh, yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so I'm here, I've pulled up, I'm ready, I'm stretched off, I'm flexible. I think Max is just pulling up, I'm here at the gym. Um, I'm gonna switch to Josh's camera now. I'm gonna start the day, I'm excited. Do you know what the work funniest thing is? Imagine this is the first time I'm actually meeting Max in real life. Like we're lockdown buddies, that's that's what we are. So um, let's go, let's go and see what he has to offer. Let's see what he has to say. Hey. Man, you're actually little, man. I oh, know, everyone says that. I think you look bigger on TV, don't you? But um, yeah, I'm fine. Well, I could do I could do basics like okay, roly poly. <laughs> Can you though? Yeah, roly poly. And your cartwheel. What? What do you? That's basic. No, right? no, no, that's no. That's basic. It's literally all about being brave and not scared of anything. And that's it's my just, biggest problem: the yeah. bravery. I don't, I don't have it. I'm that, too that's safe. what you gotta do when you're a kid. You know when you see people do like mad routines. So you do a mad routine. I'll see you, like you're running, you're tumbling, doing all this stuff, and I'm like, but when was the first time you do that? pulling away the mat where you're just on your own. It literally, you build up in stages and it would have been when I was so young. So that, that's, that's, that is what's crazy. Like literally when you're young, you've got no fear. Yeah. And that's what makes a good gymnast when they're young. But as you get older, stuff gets scary. Have you changed now? Like you've got, oh, yeah. you've got a child. You think oh, actually, time, yeah. if I break my leg here, or, are you thinking more now? Like? Yeah, it's bad. I never even used to think about it. And I used to literally thrive off of new stuff and just like literally, I used to be someone that just used to go for, go for stuff. Sometimes it'd be stupid. But now, my God, literally, it's not, it's not good. It's actually not <laughs> no, like, Do you see what I'm saying? Olympic gymnast, and he's saying, I'll tell you what, I'm pretty scared. <laughs> I'm pretty scared. Anyway, let's get in. Let's have a look at what's going on. See you in a bit. Get out of it, get out of it. Yeah. Right, so Max has brought me into the gym. We ain't got long. This is, this is going to be it, Max. I feel like this is, my, this, is my, this is my calling. I've always wanted to do this. I'm training with an Olympic gymnast. You guys are going to see me do things you never would have thought possible. I'm going to do things that I never thought was possible. Um, so let's get into it. I don't know what's, what what's in store, but I'm with, I'm willing to give anything a go. Let's do it. I want to see Flex's cartwheel. Yeah. Do the form and jump in. Form, <laughs> form. Fight them toes. Form. Man. That's it. That's what I mean. <laughs> get formed up and forwards. See how, see how flexible you are, because you did say you're flexible. Oh, mate. I'm only flexible in name. <laughs> right, so if we stick in straddle, we've got literally our hands forward. It looks like... <laughs> I'm not, I feel like I'm sitting upright. <laughs> I'm sitting you, you upright. You look like you're sitting upright. I'm sitting upright just as a bent back. <laughs> can you touch, oh, my God. See if we can touch your toes on this bit. Yeah, I can touch my toes, no. but I, I feel like only because I've got long arms. <laughs> 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 don't, I assist you. Oh. There you go. Feel the butt. Look, you've lost it straight oh, away. You're supposed to ease into you lost it, it Yeah, I am. Look, just a bit of pressure. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, yeah, I got it. Okay, yeah. Good. Have you, have you right. tried that? Um, no, I'm good, right. <laughs> He's I'm good. Is that your mum? Mum. Man, I thought I was flexible. I'm going to have to change my name after this. <laughs> can't be called flexible. I can't call you rigid. Can't stretch. <laughs> rigid, yeah. We talked about when you was young, now you was in school. When did you Break. first. No? Oh, so yeah, what? We'll get into that. 
Oh, I've been walking backwards for a while. <laughs> in your journey now, you'll come up um, towards it. Obviously, you're in school, you're about to do your GCSEs, that, that kind of era. If we kind of rewind back to there, it's kind of mid-teens. What kind of support networks did you have in place? What was, what was your driving force and what kind of presses did you feel you had or what presses did you feel you dealt well with at that time, GCSE time? I know you did a BTEC as well, we'll go yep. into that too, man. Yeah, um, there, was, uh, there was a lot of pressures. It was quite busy for me when I was young um, because obviously I started gym when I was seven years old, um, right in the middle of schooling. Um, as schooling started to build up and obviously I was, you know, gymnastics did as well um, before, before I knew it, you know, if you start progressing well as a gymnast, you was, you know, 10, 11 years old and you're kind of ramping up to 15 hours a week and, and, and doing more and more. Um, so, you know, with, with school and gymnastics, I really had to kind of get a good balance and work out how I could work it and make it work. Um, and it just was kind of making sure that I could deal with, with everything. And as I kind of moved into secondary school, Know, choosing options and, and everything like that it was kind of based around what could I get the most out of school with that I could really make the most out of my gym room mm, as well what gives um, you the best balance yeah and and when it when it comes to kind of BTEC and picking my options BTEC for me was a no-brainer because you know I had so much pressure with competitions and gymnastics and the sport and everything there was no exam at the end of the BTEC so I thought you know actually that's something that could help me out you know no pressure towards the end it was mm. mainly coursework based and I think the way it was done for me helped me a lot. Um, knowing that it was coursework based, knowing that I literally had to get my work done when I could. Um, so I'd, I had some free lessons in, in school, so that would be the time where I'd be catching up. I'd be doing all this stuff because in school I left um, on you know three days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I left school early. I was lucky to have a support at school. I left school at 12 o'clock. Oh, so the school was a good support mechanism as really? well to help you go Yeah, on. massive. Yeah, yeah, the support I received from my school was hugely important at that time because I needed to be doing 30 plus hours in the gym as well. 30 plus yeah. hours? So, That's you know, I'd leave, I'd leave school at 12 o'clock um, and the support from my, my parents and everything in terms well, of... Were the other kids jealous? Yeah. Big time. Big <laughs> time. <laughs> he don't have to do his homework. <laughs> like yeah. yeah. Um, but I'd leave at 12, get to get to gym for one o'clock. Um, it was an hour away at that time and um, train till eight. My mum would wait there one o'clock to eight o'clock, um, wait for me to finish training because it was too expensive to go back home, it was too, too much driving for her and mm. being on the road, get home from nine, um, have dinner, go to bed, same next day. So you, so you said that you could do a car with we? Um... Yeah, but I told you what Oh, this is the moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> well, what, so, let's see let's your say, hand on the floor, over, finish to the side. Well, obviously, you do it a bit quicker than that, so it's just literally... I'm right, I'm right handed. So, right, yeah. I feel better going left. Right to go right, left to go left. Like that? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> that was good! That was good! <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Was that good? That was good! Was that alright? I'm surprised, fam. Your legs were You're quite surprised, sick. you know. I'm you surprised. Really was that alright? Bruv, you... <laughs> bruv, you, do you see how you sold yourself? Yeah. No, no I didn't see. Me, fam. Oh. Go on, you have a This is what Flex said his cartwheel was going to do. That's what he said. Okay, all right. Well, Max, I'm ready for the next level then. Should we try handstand? Because literally, you went right through handstand. Yeah? We can try against the block okay. first. Right, right, literally, it's kicking up. And you use the wall to like balance. Right. Point where you want to go. Yeah? <laughs> Point where you want to go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> where? Where? <laughs> Charge. He's just laughing at me. <laughs> Back to your BTEC. You see, you, you spoke about how you deal with failure. You spoke about traveling the world. You spoke about um, some of the personal, like in the personal skills that you got and just, just, just things that made you who you are. How did your BTEC help you in terms of, not just the practicality of it in terms of, like you said, it was flexible. Yeah. But in terms of the things you learned whilst on it, yep. what kind of things helped you in this life that you're in now? Um, I think I learned a lot of soft skills at that young age was really, really kind of helpful. Um, I was a shy kid, so it helped with a lot of that, with a lot of confidence, a lot of kind of pushing myself out of my comfort zone. But I think the most important thing that it, it taught me, um, which is so apparent actually doing my gymnastics now and everything that I do outside of gymnastics, is that in, in terms of goal setting, target setting, and working towards deadlines, for me that was key. That's literally all you do now, isn't it? That's, it's like, that, that is you. It's everything. <laughs> you know, like because like with a B-take, it was because it was mainly coursework based, I literally, I knew that 
you know, my teacher would work with me. She knew obviously what, what I was doing as a gymnast and everything like that, knew I was busy. She'd work with me and know that, you know, these are, this is the workload that I need to do mm. and this is when I need to get it done. Almost by. like what your gymnastic coach would be like. It's exactly, yeah. it's exactly the same. And, and when I kind of made that switch in my gymnastics career, actually taking it on my shoulders, taking full responsibility of it and, you know, setting my goals, set my targets. Mm. This is what I want to achieve and reach this skill level by this day. That, that was a game changer. Mm. Um, and it's exactly the same skills as what you know I was doing at school with the BTEC and it's, it's so transferable, which helped me massively. Do you think, you know, when, when it's all said and done and Max Whitlock retires, yeah. you look into the future. Yeah. I'm not trying to get you to say how old you are or how, you know, how close you are to retirement, anything like that, <laughs> I'm not, I promise. But with some of the things you learned in BTEC and just in general of how you are now, what sorts of things are you going to look to do in the future, maybe post-sport or even while yeah. you're still involved with sport, you get a lot of sportsmen and women yeah. who kind of, you know, dip their toes in other things while they're you know, preparing for the life after sport and stuff like that. Yeah, um, it's something I'm doing now. I think, you know, I always say to a lot of young athletes as well um, that you need to set something up while you're still current. Right, so um, don't just wait till you retire and then think, yeah. what am I going to do? Yeah, because that's actually, it's a big issue at the moment. You what know, about when like, media and that say like, oh, you get a lot of footballers, again, I use that as an example, but oh, they're not focused on yeah. this because they're focused on that. You need to get the balance right, 100%, but there's there's big issues that, you know, athletes have when they, you got to think about an athlete from their point of view. If, you know, I started gymnastics when I was seven, a lot of footballers, every, every athlete starts usually early. Yeah. So their whole kind of, Quarter, quarter of their lifetime, you know, I'm 28 years old now. So that whole time, I've literally done, you know, small part, you know, education, of course, you know, learning as much as I can along the way, but the majority of my life has been as a gymnast. Mm. If you wait till you're done, and hopefully I'm not done anytime soon. You're not gonna be done, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but the day I retire, if I don't set anything up on that, on that journey, that's the day where, you know, a lot, of, a lot of athletes struggle with because they think, what do I do now? I've got all this time, but I don't know what I want to do. And they feel like they're starting from square one, where a lot of people are at the age of 16. Yeah, yeah. But they're 30. And that's where they got get a lot of kind Big of, jump, yeah. they get a lot of issues and they mentally they struggle with that. So it's really important for me, you know, setting stuff up now. So I'm, you know, I'm, me and my wife, me and my wife we run uh, gymnastics clubs. Um, as, a, as a business, so we run that, trying to help kind of grassroots level gymnasts get into, into the sport, uh, keep them active. Um, I've, during lockdown, um, me and my coach set up another business, which is going to be, it's, it's not launched yet, but we're going to be setting up like a, an online uh, gymnastics coaching education platform. Um, there's a lot of other stuff I want to do, um, a lot of other avenues I want to go into. I want to constantly learn, constantly just kind of, I think, opening doors, giving myself options for when that time comes. Is, is key mm. um, to make sure that, you know, there's a lot of different routes that I can have available to me. Try this one. So, turn around the other way, we're doing a handstand. And you, what, what you want to do, is you literally want to walk up. Oh my so, God, Max, I can't do that. He just made it easy for you. That's harder. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, and then slowly <laughs> walk your hands in. Oh, I feel like I'm going to tip over. <laughs> you can do it. Am I straight? Ish. <laughs> can I get in a bit more? Hands closer to the wall, hands yeah. closer to the wall. <sighs> Oh, oh. Am I straight? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was straight as well. So you, you were saying he was like that. No way. That the pommel horse thing where you go round and round and round. Yeah. Does that mean you can break dance? I can do a bit. Can I you break dance? I, 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 like, I can do some break dancing element. Oh, B-Boy Max. <laughs> <laughs> can you, can, uh, you, you must be able to spin on your head then. Oh, I've never tried that to be honest. <laughs> I've never tried that. I can do, um, I can do flares. Do you know what air flares are? Yeah. What's, the, what's that? Is that the thing that go round and then it's... Yeah, yeah, so you're like... Like, like, yeah, like, yeah, that, like that guy in Tekken. You can do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can do some stuff like that. I can't do the dancing, but I'm useless at dancing. <laughs> no so room, but leave, when it comes to that, that, you can do it. So this is a pommel horse. So this is like... This is like Olympic level, it's what you compete on. Yep. Yeah, but... If we take it back and we take it to the basics, so this is like what we learn. I'm going on the junior one. <laughs> I'm going on a kid one. He's made me see the big boy one and go like, oh my god, I'm going down the stages even more. <laughs> right. So this is like a training pommel horse. Yeah. Mushroom, we call it. Yeah, I was going to say, don't like horse, that's like a mushroom. <laughs> um, and basically, the whole thing about a pommel horse is, is circles. So I'll show you what a circle looks like. Yeah. So it looks quite easy. 
Look, that looked very easy. Mm. That looked very easy. So literally, he's an Olympic gold medalist. Yeah. <laughs> That's the basis of a pommel. That's what they're literally the foundations but of Max, you, didn't, you can't make me do something you didn't do when you was at my end level. <laughs> like you didn't just start and just go in. There must have been something you started on the floor first a bit, tried a little. So we can you went start straight into that. that. <laughs> so obviously, the strength you need on floor is nothing compared to this because oh on the floor you've got your feet to support you. Here you're just literally on your on your upper body. Max, I'm gonna say something. Not so you don't look that strong. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, like now I'm small. Like you yeah. don't like you, if I saw you walking in the street. Yeah. Obviously you are strong. Yeah. But I wouldn't be like, oh, flipping that. Look at him. Like and he's. Do you know what I mean? So. Do you want to give us a go? Oh, so try yeah. a quarter first of all. So you go from there and you swing around and you finish to the side. <laughs> what? what <laughs> you made that pommel look so small. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I mean, you put me on the kiddie thing, but then I feel like a wally because I can't even do it. So, so you literally yeah. swing round. Yeah. Swing round to the side there. Okay. Mamma mia! <laughs> I'm not even supposed to swear. I've just banged my ankles together. <laughs> this is so hard as a joke. Do you start from back here? Yeah. Move forward a little bit so your shoulders are more above your hands. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I can't go any further than that. So I'm supposed to stay up, so you, get that round like that, that's with, it. without even my bum touching this? Yeah. Impossible. <laughs> that's impossible. You just done it! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, true. My record on there, I think it was 300 when I was young. Just, just keep going, 300. What does this mean? <laughs> Josh, quick. Oh Josh, quick. Josh, quick. <laughs> Yeah, that look great. What does that mean? Does that mean I've overexerted myself? <laughs> this is this is this is the new level. This is what this does. I swear to you, I'm not tensing. My arms are like that. Look, my, my hands are. Like, I'm not doing that. And it's just doing that. What have you done to me? I love going to gym. I love training. I love How competing. do you fall in love with it? Where did you see it? Who's who? who what, what did you just turn on the TV one day and then you saw gymnastics? Do you know I was um, originally Power doing? Rangers, <laughs> Was it Power Rangers? <laughs> was it like Street Fighter or something? You playing games or something? No, I literally, I was, I was swimming. I was doing swimming in the same sports centre. And a kid from the same swimming club said, um, I should come on and try it. It was in the same centre, so I was like, give it a try. And he, he said, like, he literally said you should try it. And he, he told me to try this, like a cartwheel, try these things. And, and I kind of just done it. Well, straight away, you yeah. were just like sick at doing yeah. cartwheels, wasn't it? So then it was like, <laughs> well, I need to try it. So then I tried it, and day one, I loved it. So if you. You, what you can do is you can jump up to support and feel that. I thought you had to do that bit. Then you, okay. Then you circle around like that. And you circle around. But if you jump up, feel the support on there. You can do it! So it's nice. So where do I go now? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that was good, yeah. Good. Do you want to see if you can do what we call a half lever? It's not so much yeah. a pommel horse skill, but it's the strength skill. Let's right? go, yeah. It's a body weight strength skill, but basically have your feet through. You could do that, fam. <laughs> Remember earlier when you were talking about me being small? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're great that now, aren't you? Oh my, it's because I've got size tens. <laughs> if I had size, if I had, that's not even fair because, no, nah, seriously, that should be lower for people who've got bigger feet. What size are you? Seven. Exactly. <laughs> of course you can do it then. That's <laughs> there you go. That. That's very good. Oh my god. I told you to do it. <laughs> Max, I'm not like this is worse than running. <laughs> now this is hurting. Yeah. This is twitching. <laughs> Feet couldn't fit in. I'm out of shape, man. I shouldn't have done this. Does, the, does most pressure come from you, or do you feel like the weight of the whole of Great Britain? Um, a, lo a lot of the pressure's from me. Probably most of it, but there is a lot of outside pressures as well. You know, I there was a year that stands out in terms of that. In 2018, I got silvers, and didn't get golds, and you know, in the media and everything, um, it was seen as my whole year was a failure. Really? Um, yeah, so knowing that in the back of my mind, knowing that, you know, the next competitions that I need to go to, if I don't bring back gold, mm. it's going to be seen as a failure. It's quite difficult, especially when it can be a margin of literally a tiny thing where it's like, I didn't point my toe in one second of routine. And, that can be the difference between a medal and not. These are the fine margins that Yeah. So, that doesn't look that high from there. This looks, this is that's high. That's what I'm because you're tall. <laughs> like, wait, oh, where's the rate? What are you holding on to? <laughs> this ain't safe, you can't just walk out like that. 
So basically, literally, it might seem really basic. Yeah. Um, but just see how you feel, just hanging on it, and you can move about, and that builds up, and then you kind of build up, you swing around. You, the rings is all about strength moves. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm doing it. How are you even taking it? Oh, you feel that? Like you see people doing like the cross and everything like that. But do you do this event? No. Nah. But you can just, no. just quickly, just yeah, just. I don't really do this event, but I just get on there sometimes, have a laugh. I used to, I used to. I, well, someone needs to help me. You can't just, <laughs> you can't just have that there. Like, I feel like I'm walking, I feel like I'm walking the plank. <laughs> oh my God, this is not bad. This is not If I lean on this, is that right? It's it's not gonna, you, yeah. You said it should. A few minutes later. Hey, like, this is nuts. Nah, nah, nah. This is so high. Oh my God. Five seconds ago, he was like, it doesn't look that high, <laughs> Mama do, it's so high. You know what the funniest thing is? Yeah? I'm always on like... <laughs> you can move forward. Yeah, because I'm thinking... <laughs> when I watch things like, I'm a celebrity, get me out. I'm like, that's easy. That's easy. So lower your body there, but keep one foot on the platform. So then you stop your swing. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's, see, let's just test it out. Test it out. Okay, so... You... That's it, stop your swing. Good. Yeah. All right, then let go of this foot. And then when you drop into the pit, yeah, I've got long max. My hands are <laughs> need to give these instructions really quick. Drop, drop max on. quick. <laughs> Lift drop, yourself up, fam. Drop like onto your up, bum. Fam. Don't drop onto your feet. Drop on. Oh, guys. So drop onto your bum like a seat in area. When you, that's that's it, all that. I could do. I couldn't even get going. That's impossible. Yeah, it's like that's what's mad about gymnastics. It's like. It's hard to even do the basics. You no, know when we was doing an interview yeah, and I was saying to you, like, what's it like when you feel like you failed? <laughs> Does it feel like this? Does it feel like this? <laughs> it might be so similar. I actually think I'm strong. I, like, I go through life thinking, like, yeah, I've got a decent amount of strength for that. <laughs> we don't. You, we, we think, this is one thing you need to learn watching this. We think we're strong. We're not strong. That, that's what's hard about it. I think, like, there's, there's a lot of sports that you can go into and you can kind of do the basic, get the gist of it. But gym is like it's next level when it comes to that because so. doing the basics takes years. Yeah. So you, no one can really walk in and. Be a gym. It's actually impossible, isn't it? Yeah. You can't do it. Otherwise, you'd be one already. It means you have to have some experience of doing yeah. it. Yeah. You can't just. Have you ever seen anyone who literally has claimed they've never done it before and is walking? No, in? nobody can. Nobody can rock up and do and do stuff. It's so just, have I been the same level as like people who've just. Oh, oh yeah, hundred percent. You've Someone been better. Works. You've been no, no. You've been better than. Because the carnival was actually a good start. <laughs> yeah. It's like we started with the best. Yeah, thing. and it just went downhill from there. It possibly got worse. No, right. seriously, you've been better than a lot of people. Seriously, it's it's, it's a hard sport. It takes time. It's very hard. The Olympic medals, are, it's more about the kind of knowing the result rather than the medal now. Serious? Yeah. So you don't just like, if you're sitting there watching, I don't know, Peppa Pig with a little one, <laughs> just go, you know what, I'm just going to get the medals out. <laughs> nah, never. <laughs> never. That's, That's yeah, like, if you look at my London 2012 Olympic medals, they're like pristine. Um, because I literally, it was my first Olympic medals and I was like, so protective over them. Yeah. Um, my Rio medals, like literally they got scratches, scrapes all over them. And it's because... Scratches and scrapes yeah, all over them? Yeah, seriously. And Is that because of the celebrations after you won? <laughs> <and you're seeing laughs> yeah. That? It's because I literally, I went, I'd done like loads of school visits and everything and I literally, I was, giving, I was getting to a point where I was just giving it to the kid at the front and I'd literally just take it all the way to the back of the class and again. Like my medal, my medal, my medal, just watching these kids. Just but I, I, I was protected around my London 2012 wise, but Rio, it was more, I, it was like more the result that was behind it, everything that was behind the medal, what the medal meant, rather than the medal yeah. itself. And where the Olympics were. Yeah, it was I mean, everything about it, it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't the actual medal that, that, that meant the most to me. Mm. <laughs> Listen, thanks for putting me through my paces. Um, thanks for coming to try I would like to say I've enjoyed it. <laughs> but, I don't know, you've made me realise a lot about myself. <laughs> the next time I come back here, I can't be as bad as this. <laughs> And strength, the rings is what showed me the most. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm heavy. I'm probably about 16 stone, 15 stone, I reckon. Mm. Probably more after lockdown, I haven't checked. <laughs> but I could not even get up there. Yeah. Yeah. And they should improve the safety <laughs> as well. I do so? think, yeah. I think there needs to be more safety measures. That's fair enough. For you guys. I think, I think you're at risk too much. So what do you mean? Oh, that sponge! Nah, but that sponge is not, that's what I'm saying. Did it get you There's in no the eye? There's no sponge there. <laughs> nah, it didn't, to be fair. <laughs> to have stairs with no banister. That's, that's what they're putting, that's what they're saying. To have this here, in normal thing where you just fall and actually hurt is, nah. It's insane, <laughs> but big up to you guys, mate. And uh, I've enjoyed today, man. No, appreciate it. Been great. Been great. You guys, thanks for watching as well. 
smash the like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and check out all Max's socials in the link in the video description below. Peace.